right, I hope I don't block anything out with my the back of my big head here. But, um, you know, here's the, you know, the view. Uh, I've dropped a track in there, and I've been clipping out some of the long silences. And uh, I'll just play, uh, you'll, you'll hear just a few clips of somebody singing. And then I took the one where they sang the higher part and combined it on another track so it can play the same with the lower track. I've no gift to breathe. I play my drum for him. I play my drum for him. So I take the two the two tracks, the high the high one and the low one, and put them together uh, just so that I can uh, make sure that they that they blend and they blend really nicely. Um, and then the next thing I do is I'm um, you know I'm bringing this over. Uh, there's a long time between when you hear sound and when you don't hear sound. So I just cut that, throw it away, and bring it over. And then I listen to it. And cut it again, because it's over. And then this is just emptiness, so I get rid of the emptiness and I drag that over. And this way I'm just like getting little little files that I will be able to sprinkle throughout the um, recording. And that will be very useful. This is the end of it, so I think what we do here is uh, just cut it off at the end. And you can throw this away. Pink. Whoops. Yeah, the last thing here. You don't need that. And then, um, just because I have to go through a lot of these, this is just what one student sent me. I'm going to put this back where it was, and then I'll combine them again later, because it was really quite easy to put them together. But you get the idea. Um, so this is... Uh, just how I'm storing it, you know? Like, here's... Um, the first person's recording with all the silences trimmed out so that I can, you know, get them rearranged. And then, um, uh, let's see, uh, I'll go and I'll open another one. And I just drag it in. And start processing all right so uh let's see what we got here i'm pretty sure what this is uh, probably one of my uh, most experienced students okay so you're gonna have to i have to mute this track so i don't have to hear it before to lay before the king to lay before the king And to get my big view of it, I simply just opened this little scissor icon, which has an editing wing window down here. And I can get rid of the parts that I know I don't need. Let's see. And I can make them uh, separate. So uh, they could actually be... To lay before the king. Cut, play, stop, cut, remove. To lay before the king. Now in this case, these are both the same, all right? And I think that I've got a... That's fit to give our king. So these cannot be combined to be a harmony, but since I've got two different recordings of the same um, line, I can actually combine them to make it sound like two different people when I have, not if I only have one person and do that, but if I have um, uh, seven or eight people and I do that, then suddenly instead of having seven or eight, 
in fact, I have 14 or 16 people, and that works really well. And I'll show you what I mean. This is a, uh, let's see, what do we got? I think it's the same thing. To lay before the king. To lay before the king. That's with. Okay, so. So since these two are the same, I can make a double track like so. And then this guy can go down here. And then all I have to do is get the timing lined up. So let's just drop this guy here. Let's make this bigger, make that bigger. And let's see what I can do to get these two lined up. To lay before the king. Notice how they're just slightly off time, and that means that you get the sound. Uh, it's two different recordings, uh, and even though even though it's the same person, the timing's not absolutely identical. I can change that later on if I want to. Like if, uh, if things are wildly different and someone takes a long time to sing something, because there's no reason why they wouldn't. Uh, I can I can move that around with a with this. Different app. If to lay before the king. So now I have more of a group sound, and nobody's uh, uh, all by themselves. Even though this is only one person, which is kind of nice, you know. Um, it's a choral sound, and that's the way that works. All right, so uh, I go back to my uh, collapsed view and go back to work just cutting out silences and getting everything trimmed. These silent parts that have nothing on them are called tails. So every every um, little one of these guys is gonna have a vocal tail on it. And then I just trim the, I'm just trimming the tails off, that's all. That's the next step will be to combine them and make them, um, you know, put them in the, put, put them in the mix where they belong and um, that's fit to give a king. And combine them with others um, in the in in the different parts. All right. So just to give you an idea, um, what I'm doing with the files before I even start writing the whole thing. <laughs> 